everyone. I am Dr. David of UCS Advisors, where we help you achieve your greatness, not only in business, but also on your capital raising journey. Today, I have the co-founder of Gas Bus, Mr. Edson Charles, here today joining us. Edson, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me, David. I appreciate the opportunity to present here with you guys. So for our viewers and our audience, let's jump right into this. Edson, what is Gas Bus? Gas Bus is a cannabis delivery business based out of Massachusetts. It's interesting you say a cannabis delivery uh, service. I know that seems to be a very popular thing now. People want to get into delivery. So what makes Gas Bus different than maybe other competitors that are doing cannabis delivery? So there are a couple of different components to our business. So one is we have the ability to wholesale. Um, so purchase product on the wholesale market, house it at our facility, and then we can break that down and distribute it directly to, us, to customers. So we're not necessarily tied to a specific retailer. We have the ability to pick and choose what what products we want to bring and expand our, onto our menu. So now taking it to the next level here, um, I know the company's been growing over the last 12 months. Um, are there any... Uh, key milestones the company has achieved in the last 12 months? Yeah, so for our Middleborough location, well, first to say, we have two locations lined up to launch our business from. One in the South Shore area of Massachusetts, that's just below uh, Boston on the way to the Cape, and one in the city of Boston, about West Roxbury on the south side. Some of our key milestones were fully permitted, uh, provisionally licensed for our Middleborough location. We received our certificate of occupancy on January 17th, um, and we're just waiting on our vehicles to come in for the state to come and inspect that facility. We're on track to be approved for the social equity grant fund that just got released uh, for that business as well. So we have some capital coming in on that side. We've invested uh, uh, upwards of $200,000 in that facility. And we actually own the entire building that that uh, business is located in. Oh, excellent. So you own the building, you're getting your, your vehicles in, um, you're going to have two locations, no, it really shows that y'all are kind of really thinking a few steps ahead. And you and I had a chance to talk off camera. And I know uh, y'all are really into technology as well, too. And something that I thought was really intriguing is that it seems that you're going to be using some innovative technologies for your company to kind of stay ahead of the market. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so we're launching a program called the Gas Pass. It'll allow us to take our customers for a ride, giving them access to exclusive events, merch, and also exclusive menu items um, that we plan on rolling out very soon. So Edson, between multiple locations, using some technology, talking about the gas pass for customer loyalty, it really seems that you're tr really trying to stay ahead of the market, but what are the, some of the challenges in general that your company Gas Bus faces? A lack of a face. We're a delivery company, so we don't necessarily have a storefront for our customers to recognize with. Um, so what we're, do what we're doing is using those community aspects, that gas pass and that technology to connect with our customers on a different and closer basis. So we can build that community without necessarily having a storefront that the retailers and dispensaries take advantage of. You talked about some other collaborations. Are there any other collaborations or partnerships that Gas Bus uh, plans to enter in the next maybe six to 12 months? Yeah, so actually um, as of February 8th, we're on the docket for our manufacturing arm to get uh, approved. Uh, we should be provisionally licensed by the end of today. Um, and that's going to be our way to expand and kind of increase our margins as we grow our customer base. So we can kind of reel some of those house brands really in house and take advantage of the facility that we own. Talking about that type of partnership and collaboration, it seems that Gas Bus wants to continue to grow. And if that's the case, can you maybe tell us what the long term vision is? Well, we want to be the staple delivery brand. And not necessarily just a delivery brand. We want to be the staple brand across the East Coast. We have partners that we're bringing in from the West Coast to help us kind of bring some of that experience and flavor in that's different from here so that we can kind of connect to multiple different communities across the board just based off the fact that we bring quality product straight to your door. I like to ask this question to all everyone that we interview. Is the company fully capitalized currently or are you still raising money? So in this field, everybody could always use some extra money. Um, we currently just closed out our, our first round of funding. We raised over half a million dollars in that round. Woo! Congratulations, man. Dude, take, take a second, pause back. Over a half a million raised and closed in the first round. Way to go. Good job, Gas Bus. Yeah, we've kind of used those funds to propel us to where we are right now. And now we've 
positioned ourselves to open up a second round of funding. Great. Uh, do you have any details about that second round of funding that you care to share at all? Yeah. So we opened up two different types of funding. The first is it means uh, equity purchase into the company. So we're offering shares of our company at $2,500 per share minimum, 10 share buy-in for $25,000 for minimum buy-in. And there's about 187 shares left to flow. The debt offering that we're offering is a minimum buy-in of 75000 at a 10% interest rate on that seventy five for up to a quarter million. Excellent. Excellent. And then uh, I, I assume your goal is to have this after this round is completed. Are you going to be looking for an another round of funding or is that kind of a couple of years down the road? So after we close that round, we'll kind of assess based on how much assets we've gathered, what our plans are for the market. And if we have enough to fully capitalize and expand the Boston project, get melting pot off the ground and fully invest into the technology, then I think we should be set for maybe a year or two. But I'll let you know when the number is close. Well, you heard right here at, here at UCS Advisors, we have the co-founder of Gas Bus, Mr. Edson Charles here today. You have a couple of locations in Massachusetts. You are going after manufacturing licenses as well, too. You're using technology and innovative technology to have you stay above your competitors. And you're also issuing a loyalty program as well, too, the Gas Pass. Thank you so much, Edson, for being here today. We really appreciate it. And let me ask you this one last question. Is there anything else that you want to tell our viewers or our audience about Gas Bus before we end today? Yeah. So I want to tell you more about our team and how we've strategically positioned ourselves. A little bit more about the real estate. So we purchased it in 2022 as a, an asset towards the company and non-cannabis tenants that currently on, are on long-term leases. Um, the entire building is zoned for everything from retail to cultivation. Um, with uh, new developments on legislation here, we're almost guaranteed a slot for a retail location out of the building. Um, and that whole time we'll be generating revenue, not dependent on the cannabis sector. So we've kind of positioned ourselves with the hard asset behind us to grow for the future and expand within our footprint in the state and outside of the state. So it almost seems like uh, you really made sure you protected your investors and able to give them peace of mind and also while also diversifying your revenue streams. So you're not dependent on just one thing or the other. Exactly. You know what? I Congratulations, Edson, to you and your team. I'm very happy for you guys. And if you're in the Massachusetts area, make sure you look up Gas Bus. Thank you so much for being here today, Edson. Good luck for the rest of your capital raising journey. We wish you nothing but success. Once again, I am Dr. David of UCS Advisors, where we help you achieve your greatness.